it's been a sensational year for you. I mean, starting off with Rolando and then Classics winning the uh, the A's, wasn't it? Uh, push for it, push for it. Uh, and two of the Avenue, you're making history. First British winner. You take that in? Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, well, it's been a great year, but I don't know, just keep riding, keep racing, just like racing my bike. And, yeah. So making, making history is just yeah, yeah. a bonus. Yeah, Cherry definitely. On top. Yeah, but every race I go, yeah, race to try and win and do my best, so, and that's the result. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how the years go. Well, as I said to you before we started the interview, I remember seeing you riding cross a lot, and you like mountain biking, you still mountain biking. Yeah. Where does the road fit in with all this? Oh, the roads at the, at the moment definitely. You're obviously very talented for me. Yeah, the priority. I just raced Sunday Mountain Bike World Champs. Um, yeah, I lost a few mountain bike points and stuff, so it wasn't my best race starting at the back. But yeah, the week before, I went loving it, so yeah, I definitely have been a, yeah, done a lot on the road this year, and obviously with the pro team, getting to do some of the best races and to come like Tour of Britain is pretty, pretty nice towards the end of the year. So. Looking forward to it. Uh, what are the ambitions of the Tour of now that you've, you've won other stage races this year? You're up against the likes of Remco, etc. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think today we just uh, we go with Ethan for the sprint. Um, I think that's pretty clear. Um, and then we have me, Stevie, Nick, um, which can all I reckon be up there on GC. So, yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, it's obviously hard against Remco. Um, he's obviously the main favourite, but yeah, I think we have strength across the whole of our team to play uh, different cards. So I think it'll be a really good race and get yeah, a lot of friendly faces in the ballot, on so it should be nice. Well, finally, you came into the team at the start of the year in the academy part of it, and you're going up to the World Tour team, or you're up there now. Yeah. What, are, what are the ambitions next year, now that you know what you can do? I think next year is to then yeah level up to even bigger races hopefully and be competitive in them so yeah um, grand tours yeah it would be nice to do one next still, year. how old are you no, i'm 21 oh. 22 next year it's february so yeah do you realize how just amazing that is yeah yeah so yeah you do kind of know i'm younger in the team but yeah that doesn't stop me from doing what I want to do in this team, so I think it's really good. Uh, just one, one final one. In terms of, when you were back in the day racing for Road to Racing, yeah. did you ever, ever, ever think you were going to achieve what you were achieving? No. Um, <laughs> no, but it's come in like steps, you know, like uh, slowly developed. And this year's been probably uh, my stand-up year, starting the year. And, so, yeah, I've definitely grown a lot this year, like riding on the road as well. Probably back then I was always cross and mountain biking. I do a little bit of road on the side, but now, yeah, I'm doing better on the road. Now, so, now the road's your job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but also I'm doing, doing well on it, so really start to enjoy it. And, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I have to say, for someone who's got the most amazing Ah, this year. Your feet seem to be firmly on the ground. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. Looking forward to start today. I sun out in Scotland compared to yesterday, so it should be nice. Cheers.